wildlife managers in Florida say they want to remove roaming monkeys from the state in light of a new study published Wednesday that finds some of the animals are excreting, a virus that can be dangerous to humans. Scientists studying a growing population of rhesus macaques in Silver Springs State Park say that rather than just carrying herpes bee, which is common in the species, some of the monkeys have the virus in their saliva and other bodily fluids, posing a potential risk of spreading the disease. Human cases of the virus have been rare, with about 50 documented worldwide, and there have been no known transmissions of it to people from wild rhesus macaques in Florida or elsewhere. Plus 5, imgaidati.d.i86 pof 7 f 208 78 csrc equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash 1 slash 2018 slash 01 slash 10 slash 17 slash wire 20503461515606842 underscore 634 by 664.jpg height equals 664 width equals 634 alt equals a rhesus macaques monkey observes kayakers as they navigate along the Silver River in Silver Springs, Florida. Wildlife managers in Florida say they want to remove the roaming monkeys from the state in light of a new study published Wednesday, January 10, 2018, that finds some of the animals are excreting a virus that can be dangerous to humans. Class equals blocks bordering share, greater than the Tarzan Island macaques of Florida that animals four bears were brought to an island in the Silver River early in the 1930s as a tourist attraction due to the popularity of the Tarzan movies. But there was human error in that plan, they didn't know monkeys could swim. Now there are believed to be, about 175 in Silver Springs State Park. The macaques, native to Asia, are one of Florida's many non-native wildlife species. Their contacts with the public, including last summer when the monkeys chased a family, have made them somewhat notorious critters and have caused two partial park closures since 2016. The monkeys also have roamed far outside the park, dozens were photographed, recently swarming a deer feeder outside a home in Ocala. They have been spotted in trees in the Sarasota and Tallahassee areas. Advertising again read invented by Teeds however, the researchers say the issue has not been thoroughly studied. The findings, published in the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention journal Emerging Infectious Diseases, prompted the researchers from the Universities of Florida and Washington to warn Florida's wildlife agency that the infected monkeys should be considered a public health concern. State wildlife officials say they are taking the problem seriously. Without management action, the presence and continued expansion of non native rhesus macaques in Florida can result in serious human health and safety risks, including human injury and transmission of disease. Thomas Eason, assistant executive director of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, said in a statement Eason would not elaborate on what specific management tactics the state may employ, but a spokeswoman said the commission supports ridding the state of the invasive creature. The Commission supports the removal of these monkeys from the environment to help reduce the threat they pose. This can be done in a variety of ways, spokeswoman Carly Sagelson said in an email. The herpes bee virus has been fatal to 21 of the 50 humans known to have contracted it from macaque bites and scratches while working with the animals in laboratories. According to the CDC the CDC said there is always concern about the threat that diseases like herpes bee virus pose to people, especially in settings where there is frequent interaction between animals and humans where scratches or bites can occur. Herpes bee virus infection is extremely rare in people, but, when it does occur, it can result in severe brain damage or death if the patient is not treated immediately, CDC spokesman Ian Brannan said in a statement. Plus 5 mg, I dot D dot equals IE B2 to 9 CF 121 B1 A72 SRC equals HTTP colon slash slash I dot daily mail dot co dot UK slash 1 slash 2018 slash 01 slash 10 slash 17 slash wire 205 0350 6846955 underscore 634 by 833.jpg height equals 833 width equals 634 alt equals a rhesus macaques monkey and her offspring observe kayakers as they navigate along the Silver River in Silver Springs, Florida. Wildlife managers in Florida see they want to remove the roaming monkeys from the state in light of a new study published Wednesday, January 10, 2018, that finds some of the animals are excreting a virus that can be dangerous to humans. Class equals blocks bordering share, 
greater than the researchers estimate that up to 30% of the scores of Florida's feral macaques may be actively excreting the virus, the findings suggest a public health concern, said David Chivitello, an Emory University biology professor who was not involved in the study. Still, he said, while the research confirms the presence of the virus in the monkey's bodily secretions, more work needs to be done to establish how much virus there is, and how easily transferable it is. It is interesting to see oral shedding at all, Chivitella said in an email after reviewing the paper. It will be important to figure out whether under-reporting, low quantities, or low transmissibility would explain why infections in tourists have not been reported. Plus 5 in guide.d.e12 do 9 cd 333104 bsrc equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash 1 slash 2018 slash 01 slash 10 slash 17 slash wire 205 0352151 underscore 634 by 484 jpg height equals 484 width equals 634 alt equals in this Friday. November 10, 2017 photo, a rhesus macaques monkey observes kayakers as they navigate along the Silver River in Silver Springs, Florida. Wildlife managers in Florida say they want to remove the roaming monkeys from the state in light of a new study published Wednesday, January 10, 2018, that finds some of the animals are excreting a virus that can be dangerous to humans. AP photo slash John Rau, class equals block sporter image share greater than the presence of the virus, in the monkey's feces and saliva presence issues for park workers and visitors, who could be endangered if bitten or scratched. Human visitors to the park are most likely to be exposed through contact with saliva from macaque bites and scratches or from contact with virus shed through urine and feces, the paper's authors wrote. The creatures draw nature lovers. On a chilly day in November, Captain Tom Olenek, who has navigated the Silver River for 35 years, hollered from his charter boat into the dense surrounding forest. Monkey, monkey, monkey! He cried. More than two dozen monkeys eventually appeared in trees on the riverbank. Within minutes, curious kayakers and other boat tour operators pulled close to shore for a better look and to snap photos. Minutes later another troop was running along the opposite riverbank. Plus 5 in guide.d.e.9 36 eb 310 to 134 src equals http colon slash slash i.dailymail.co.uk slash 1 slash 2018 slash 01 slash 10 slash 17 slash wire 205034815156068447475 underscore 634x743.jpg height equals 743 width equals 634 alt equals Captain Tom Alina keeps a lookout for monkeys and other wildlife as he navigates his boat on the Silver River, in Silver Springs, Florida. The animal's four bears were brought to an island on the Silver River early in the 1930s as a tourist attraction due to the popularity of the Tarzan movies. But there was human error in that plan. Class equals blocks border and share, greater than the animal's four bears were brought to an island in the Silver River early in the 1930s as a tourist attraction due to the popularity of the Tarzan movies. But there was human error in that planned out they didn't know monkeys could swim, Olenek said. Now there are believed to be about 175 in Silver Springs State Park. While there are no official statistics on monkey attacks on humans in the park, a state-sponsored study in the 1990s found 31 monkey-human incidents, with 23 resulting in human injury between 1977 and 1984. Samantha Wisely, a University of Florida disease ecologist and one of the study's authors, said whether the monkeys pose a significant public health threat is still unknown. The paper recommends that Florida wildlife managers consider the virus in future policy decisions. We don't have any silver bullet, that's the nature of science, wisely said. Plus 5 in guide.d.e equals if 752bb 507d 79a 7src equals http colon slash slash i dot daily mail dot co dot uk slash 1 slash 2018 slash 01 slash 10 slash 17 slash wire 205 0354151 underscore 634 by 721 jpg height equals 721 width equals 634 alt equals a rhesus macaques monkey observes kayakers as they navigate along the Silver River in Silver Springs, Florida. Wildlife managers in Florida say they want to remove the roaming monkeys from the state in light of a new study, published Wednesday, January 10, 2018, that finds some of the animals are excreting a virus that can be dangerous to humans. Class equals blocks border image share, 